There are three types of muscular tissues in our body. 1. Striated muscle. 2. Non-striated muscles. 3. Cardiac muscle. Striated muscle got its name because of striations of dark and light bands on cell surface. These tissues are attached to skeleton and thus also called skeleton muscles. Each skeletal muscle cell or muscle fiber is long and approximately cylindrical in shape, with many nuclei located at the periphery of the cell. Even though nuclei are located at edge, they are covered by membrane called sarcolemma. Muscles in leg, neck, forearm, thigh, finger, toe etc. are made of striated muscle. We can move skeletal muscle on our will. For example, we can move our fingers. Because movement of these muscles is controlled by our mind, they are called voluntary muscles. Skeletal muscles apply pull force on bones and thus are responsible for movement. Non-striated muscles As name suggests, muscle cell of this tissue does not have any striation on surface. These muscles are also known as smooth muscles. Unlike striated muscles, there is only one nuclei which is located at center part of muscle cell. Muscle cells in these tissues are small and pointy at end. Non striated tissues are found on the wall of digestive tract, urinary bladder, and other internal organs. Movement of these muscles are not controlled by our mind and thus they are called involuntary muscles. Our food move in digestive tract because of contraction of these muscles. Cardiac muscle. Cardiac means heart, so cardiac muscle is muscle of our heart. Similar to striated muscles, cells in cardiac muscles are striated with dark and light bands and have multiple nuclei. Similar to non-striated muscles, nuclei of cardiac muscle cells are located at center part of the cell. Our heart muscles contract and relaxes continuously and we cannot control this movement. Thus cardiac muscles are involuntary muscles.